Hi and welcome everyone to today's devotion. My name is Jefferson and I'm a part of the youth team and the creative team. And today we are continuing with our series four of Therefore Go. In Matthew 28, we read about the Great Commission where Jesus tells us, his followers, to go into all the world and make disciples. This week in our devotion, we are on a journey of what it looks like, of what it is to live by the Spirit. Looking at the scripture, Galatians 5, verse 25, we, we've looked, currently we've looked at walking in step with the Spirit, a Spirit-led heart, reflecting the Spirit's fruit and letting go of self-reliance. Today, as we finish the journey, let's look at being consistent in the Spirit. Galatians 5, verse 25, calls us to follow the Spirit's leading, the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. This isn't a one-time choice, but a daily commitment. The word every reminds us that the Spirit's influence should touch every aspect of our lives, not just during a church service or quiet times, but in our workplaces, our relationships, and our personal goals. So consistency in the Spirit requires vigilance, life distractions, life distractions like pressures and stress that can easily lead us, of course, but the Holy Spirit is always available. It's gently prompting us to align our actions with God's will. Small, cons consistent steps towards following the Spirit cultivate a life of true spiritual maturity. Practically, this, consistently, cons this consistency might look like setting aside time for prayer, reading scripture, and inviting God's presence throughout the day. It could be simply pausing to ask the Spirit. Spirit, what would you have for me to do in this moment? Building these small habits help us to stay sensitive to the Spirit's voice. Today, consider how you can invite the Spirit's presence more consistently. Begin each morning with a prayer for guidance and end each day with gratitude. These, 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 these rhythms deepen our awareness of God's presence, allowing us to walk in his wisdom and grace continually. So as you follow the Spirit's leading with you, the Spirit's leading with consistency, you'll find that your life begins to reflect God's character in a way that blesses others. Following the Spirit in every part of life becomes not just a discipline, but a delight. So as God's presence becomes more woven, in each into each day or day, just remember that the spirit's always there. Thank you. Love you, church, and enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>